Hello, good friends, it's the Twy Keen, and thanks for joining me for the next Fortune Street board. This is the Colossus on Easy Rules. Oh boy. I'll tell you what, though, I feel like I am going to have an easy time with this one because all my opponents right here have <laughs> Donkey Kong, a D rank, and then Carver, who is another new one, a C, and then we're back to uh, using characters that have already been used. In this case, We'll decide gave me Platypunk, who is a C rank. So, will I have a stiff competition for this one? Hopefully not. Hopefully it'll be in like a landslide. Anyways, as you can see on my uh, avatar, my uh, mascot that I'm carrying with me is called Man of War. <laughs> not sure how I got that name, but we'll just roll with it. Anyways, number 33 will be just enough for me to go second. Fine. So yeah, DK and Carver are the only two characters left that we haven't played against since we started this one project. Target amount 10,000 gold. Um, I originally had it at 12,000, but um, I decided to set it down to 10,000 just to really speed up the board process. Unlike uh, Baldur's Castle where it was um, originally set at... Um, 8,000, I set it to 10,000. I'm still going to uh, keep it at 10,000 for this one. Bankruptcy of three players will be good. Anyways, the shape of this board to me looks like a double eight. <laughs> and a card already for Carver. Oh, well, that card's a dud because every one of us is in for. Well, no, it's not. 360, jeez. I would have thought he wasn't able to get that because um, we're all in first place, rather than... Um, uh, I'm not sure what else to say. Anyways, if you look at how this board is shaped, it does look like I want to call it a double eight. Because um, what you have with these buttons right here is, these particular spaces from down here to down here will flip around with these sets right here. Same can be said for this set swapping with this set over here. And as you can tell in the middle section of this board, you only get just three suits here. The uh, spade, the diamond, and the heart. So to get the club, you have to go to one of these outlying islands on either the far left or far right side. So, quite a lot to uh, digest right there. Okay, I could go 280 there. I could go 190 here. Um, now if I go back up around, I could go 330 there. 210 there. Um, so we start off with only 1880 since Carver just screwed around with us right there. Um, I think we'll just start here. Especially since I got myself off to a very rocky start right there. And oh yeah, this board also comes with uh, a dice that lets you roll 7 or 8 as well. Oh wow, a heal slime already! I can't remember the last time we saw a heal slime on here. What the heal slime is, when you pass by it, you can grab whatever suit you want from him. Now if you already have all suits, once you meet up with him, he'll give, us, give you a suit yourself card, which will really come in handy. I'm gonna say right now, this is my second recording of this board because the first one I did crashed on me. And after the crash I played the rest of the board for fun and uh, Somehow the heel slime came up with it, and uh, somebody was able to get four Suit Yourself cards off of him, and I mean four of them. Okay, number five. Zoom over to any shop or vacant plot. Well, let's go back to this one just to get a row of two right here. I don't regret going backwards a couple spaces. I want to get a row of two started. Hopefully we can turn that into a real danger zone, but they can be easily surpassed if people r roll high numbers and such. Tell you what, I think I might as well try for the heel slime in the direction he's going. Uh, 
does Platypunk even have a shop? Oh yeah, he just got one shop already, so that was not a good time to get the card for him. But for me it is, because um, he doesn't get much out of it. As an opponent of mine. Alright, can I get at least a three here? Yes. Alright, we want the club. That way I don't have to go to the uh, outlying islands on the far left or far right to get that club. Oop. Near the first instance of this. Uh, the heel slime just stays with me right there. I wish he would have gone a couple more spaces so that I could um, maybe get the spade from him there and then um, maybe try to get a sue yourself card later on. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen. I don't think. Six. Might as well buy an expensive shop, but at least I don't have to, uh... Go to the other side to get the, uh, club. <laughs> Gosh, the Healy just keeps catching up with me. Instead of going in front of me. Okay, Platypunk with a row of two there. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought Carver was gonna land on that button and I'd be transported over to that other side. Oh, can he roll an even number? No. Carver's shops all expand by 20%, but he only has like two shops, so that's not gonna help him as much. All right, can I reach the bank this turn? Three, uh-oh. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be transported over to that uh, far left island. Dang it. Well, let's just see what kind of roll I get this turn and see if I might give myself a chance to buy one of these shops over here. Maybe not as much of a chance. One, um... I could buy that 220 right there, but um, I'm gonna see if I could get a card that will warp me. 80? Eh. That won't do it, but I'll get a hundred gold though. I just wanted to try and see if I could get a uh, warp card. It just didn't work. Alrighty, Healy is done. Winning player must pay 20% of their ready cash. Oh, that's Carver. 350. Wow. That puts Platypunk out in front. And Carver is the first to get a promotion. Hmm. Seven. Do I land on the cannon? No, I don't. Still feel like I'm off to a pretty slow start here. Because I was closing in on the bank already, but I got screwed over by that blue warp space which brought me over to this island that I'm like stuck in for a little while. Uh, if Platypunk would have rolled a four, he could have... Um, gave me a more um, legit shot here. Oh, here we go. 
Now I should be able to make it to the bank. I rolled just enough to get there. Only gonna get 753 though. Not a big total. This has a buyout price of 900, so not worth it this early. Well, at least DK has a chance to uh, go into my row of two right there. So yeah, Carver and Plapunk are only investing just a hundred at a time. <laughs> or two hundred, rather. Um... I want to try it for this this set of three right here, so I don't mind missing a sale here. Uh, that's gonna put decay over there. Well, there's still an empty set of three. I could still buy at least. Take a hundred gold from all other players. <laughs> Gosh, Carver's wreck and then all the riches. One? Alrighty. Let's see if this can be a start here to all this. Oh, DK is going to try for a set right here, just like he has on the far left side. Gosh, there's going to be quite a lot of uh, venture cards drawn here. Gets a big commission. We don't know the exact percentage, though. Alright, one again. Nope, two. Well, fine. Uh-oh. Decay's already got something going here. Tell you what, let's see how dumb he could be and, um... If I try to buy out that one that's worth 14 now. I mean, he's a D-rank player, so he may not accept um, an offer very, very big to buy it out. Might as well give it a try, at least. Yeah, it only costs 70, but let's try uh, 270. He says yes. Wow. Okay, so I'm putting myself there. Fine. Okay, he's already out. Alrighty. <laughs> wow, how does he get two of those in a row? Seriously, I've no I don't think I've ever seen that before. Flat upon getting two of the same card in a row. Ok, 
Okay, well, I missed out on the club, though. So I gotta get back in there. But I could do it on the other side, too. If I roll a four, I'll hit the button, but, uh... Just to get back in there, but I'll see if I can get myself on the other side. You got to invest that for free, though. <laughs> One. Now, let's go ahead and invest some. That'll make it really tough to buy out now. I only have 500 ready cash, though, so I really need to, uh... make some sales. Man, a lot of these people are getting promotions pretty fast, and I'm not one of them, unfortunately. Ooh. Sell a shop. Okay. That's fine. Carver wants to go to me, eh? Probably because I'm closer to the heart. <laughs> Number three, I think it's good. Non-venture, non-suit square. Alrighty, um... This one. Now I got a set of three right here. This is gonna be good. Now hopefully uh, no one hits the button and I can get that club down there. As well as that spade. Alrighty. Got a very expensive set of shops here. Ah, oh, DK, come on! That is so dumb. Well, good news is I uh, went to that space with a Venture card so I can choose which way to move on my next turn. But I hope Carver lands on one of the buttons. And he's gonna zip right past it. If I roll a two, I can get back in it. No. Say, I really don't want to buy any more shops right now. I mean, I only have just 330. Now 302 ready cash. I got to be very careful. I still need two more suits too. All right, an 88 sale is fine, but it's still not that much. I gotta get that spade, so...
Hmm, Carver makes it out. <laughs> yeah, I still only have just one promotion so far. Two. Well, hitting the button. Well, no matter what, I'm still gonna reach a spade. But I, but I still need that club too. So hopefully I roll high enough to reach that cannon. Oh boy, DK's on his way to a four in a row here. <laughs> 